When I'm not sure if I have enough filament to complete a print, I'll break it down into smaller components. Some of my prints take a very long time, so I wouldn't want it to fail partway through. It wastes time and filament. I got this big STL file and usually what I would do is split the model into parts and then load up the build plate and just let it run. When I know I've got enough filament on the spool, I'll load up the build plate as much as possible. You can see this one's going to take 6 hours. But sometimes it's hard to tell how much filament you've got on the spool and you wouldn't want to run out of filament part way through. So in this situation, I just split my print into smaller pieces and if it runs out of filament part way through, it's okay. I didn't waste a lot of time or filament. I pretty much used up the entire spool and nothing got wasted. When you're ready to swap out to a new spool, just preheat the hot end and wait for it to get up to temperature. Then you can grab your snips, cut the filament, and then you want to push down the extruder arm and then push the filament in a bit and then quickly pull it out. And then get your new spool of filament, zing off the bent part. Then you want to press down the extruder arm again and feed the new filament into the Bowden tube. And sometimes this can be a bit wonky but uh, just keep trying and you'll eventually get it. This is kind of cool, you can see the filament moving through the Bowden tube. So when the filament reaches the hot end, you want to keep pushing it a bit to purge the line of the old filament. Now with a fresh spool on there, you can go back to loading up your build plate and printing long prints. And you don't have to worry about running out of filament part way through the print.